Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today we're going to be reviewing more foundation because it's Foundation Friday. So today we are going to be reviewing the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. This is their newest foundation and it comes in this little like dropper. I got this while I was at Ipsy's event, uh, Gen Beauty, and I have two different colors here that we're going to be trying out and I'm going to see which one is more my shade. And 13 is called Golden, and the number 14 is called Golden Honey. So let's open this up for the first time. Cute, it comes in a little matte looking bottle, little dropper bottle. So you're supposed to shake them up before you get started. I'm just gonna swatch them on my hand. So here's drop number one in Golden. You can see that. And now I'm gonna swatch Golden Honey, which is supposed to be one darker. Now if I rub the two, they're very liquidy. And there's not, it's not too big of a difference. I probably could pull off both of these. Now for the purpose of this video, I wanna do half of my face with a primer and half of it without so we can see how well it does on its own. But I will be using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. And I'm gonna do it on the right side of my face. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm gonna push this into my pores. So they look a little bit smaller. My makeup will go on a little bit better. All right, half of my face is primed. And I've also seen this foundation be put on with a brush. So I have a Royal Moda brush, M06, and it says complexion. And I'm using it because it's really pretty and it matches my nails. And if the brush doesn't work, I will be going back to my handy dandy beauty blender. Well, let's see how it looks. Now, after you shake it up, it says to use two drops for a light coverage, three drops for medium coverage, and four drops for full coverage. So I might be going to four, but let's see how well two drops go. Okay, so one, two-ish. Okay, so now they look like a little makeup gangsta. Buff this out. I don't think I like putting on my foundation with the brush. That didn't really go anywhere. I'm putting more drops. Ooh, ooh, too much drop, too much drop. It's okay. Everything is under control. <laughs> all right, all right, we got it. We got it, we got it. I don't even know how many drops this is really considered anymore because it was starting to spill down my face. But I want to do more. But I am going to go back to my beauty blender. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now that I actually like kind of step back, I did get some pretty good coverage. But let's see what a little more we'll do. And this time I'm going to put it right onto my beauty blender. Let's just get the dark circles because I didn't color correct. I want to see how well this would do. I'm just a beauty blender type girl. It's not sticky at all and it's really easy to blend. And I think this is a really good color for me. So now let's complete the face with the non-prime side. Let me do two drops, two. Surprisingly, two drops actually does go a long way. I'm just so used to doing more than two drops of anything that I might have to get used to it. Because it's not like a really creamy texture, I'm actually surprised that it got as well of a coverage as it is, but the coverage is really good. It's really good with my skin tone, and I really hope this lasts long and it works for oily skin. My first impression is amazing. I love the coverage, I love the color. It went on super easy. It's very blendable and very lightweight. So I'm going to finish my makeup now and come back and then I will give you more information about the NYX Total Cover Foundation. And we're back. Full face, bigger hair, everything's just better now. But um, everything else, the rest of my makeup went on very nicely. Everything was smooth. I'm getting really full coverage right now. I love it. I'm excited to see how it lasts throughout the rest of the day. But let me tell you a little bit more about the actual product. This 
is 0.43 fluid ounces. It's available at Target and Ulta. If you go to Ulta, then you could try different samples and you actually could swatch it and see what's your color. So that might be a better thing to do. And NYX also has their own stores now. So if you can find a NYX store near you, I'm sure they'll have it as well and can give you a perfect color match. So according to the actual box, it says just a few drops deliver sheer to full coverage. I like full coverage. You saw how many drops I used. Uh, it's supposed to have a velvety matte finish, and I agree. Now I have acne prone and very oily skin. I usually get really oily right around here and in my T-zone area. So I wanna see how it's going to be in a couple hours and I will come back and show you. So it is currently 546. And I will be back at the end of the night so we can see how well it lasted throughout the day. I really gotta start doing these makeup things earlier in the day. All right, we are back and it is 11.30. Oh, I can't see anything. Let's just, let's just. 11.38. So that means it has been six hours of this makeup and it actually did very well. I am a little shiny, but I think I'm less shiny than my last foundation Friday. The most interesting part is I don't even see a big difference between the primer side and the non-primer side. I don't know. I think I'm pretty equal on each side, so I don't know if the primer didn't do its thing or if the makeup's just really doing its thing to where you don't even need a primer. It's gonna give you that same look. So this is this, and now I'm going to blot my face. Once again, if you have oily skin, you need to buy some oil blotting sheets. These are the Walgreens brand. There's Target brand, there's uh, Clean and Clear, whatever brand it is, doesn't really matter. They look like this and they get the job done. So all you do is press down and we're going to soak up any remaining oil. Okay, there's the primer side. There's all the oil from that side and the other side. Boom! It looks so good! All right, so here's the primer side. Here's the non-primer side. I think that's kind of the same. Very interesting. Thumbs up to all these great products for oily skin. Um, I am very oily. I'm going to get oily probably no matter what. So as long as you can keep me minimized, I'm going to be happy. And if I can blot, remove the oil without removing my makeup and the makeup is still there after many, many hours, I'm going to be satisfied. So that is my complete review on the NYX Total Cover Drops. If you guys like this video and want more Foundation Friday videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up and comment below and let me know what your favorite foundations are, high-end or drugstore, and I will try to get my hands on them for my next Foundation Friday. You also can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee, and I do plan on having an Instagram giveaway very soon, so don't miss it. Go follow me right now. I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.